The main Central Railroad Company reporting Mark MEC was a former U.S. Class I railroad in central and southern Maine. It was chartered in 1856 and began operations in 1862. By 1884, Maine Central was the longest railroad in New England. Maine Central had expanded to 1,358 miles kilometers when the United States Railroad Administration assumed control in 1917. The main line extended from South Portland, Maine, east to the Canada-United States border with New Brunswick, and a mountain division extended west from Portland to Vermont and north into Quebec. The main line was double track from South Portland to Royal Junction, where it split into a lower road through Brunswick and Augusta and a back road through Lewiston, which converged at Waterville into single track to Bangor and points east. Branch lines served the industrial center of Rumford, a resort hotel on Moosehead Lake, and coastal communities from Bath to Eastport. At the end of 1970, it operated 921 miles (1,482 kilometers) of road on 1,183 miles (1,904 kilometers) of track. That year, it reported 950 million ton miles of revenue freight. The main central remained independent until 1981, when it was purchased by Guilford Transportation Industries and became part of what is now the Panam Railways Network. History Charter and creation The main central was created in 1862 through the merger of the Androscoggin and Kennebec Railroad and the Penobscot and Kennebec Railroad, resulting in a line from Danville now Auburn, to Bangor. The line connected with the Grand Trunk Railway on its Portland-Chicago mainline at Danville and with the Bangor and Piscataki Railroad in Bangor. As a result of its connection with the Grand Trunk, the Main Central initially operated on a track gauge of 5 feet 6 in 1,676 mm known as Canadian or Portland gauge. Topic expansion Main Central purchased the Portland and Kennebec Railroad, which ran from Portland to Augusta and was built to standard track gauge, since it connected with the Boston and Main Railroad at Portland. By 1871, the Main Central completed its conversion to standard gauge to facilitate interchange of cars. The MEC established rail service to the Penobscot Bay in 1871 by leasing for 50 years the then just completed 33-mile (53 of track built by the Belfast and Moosehead Lake Railroad (B&ML). The B&ML's grade ran the length of Waldo County from the port town of Belfast inland to Burnham Junction, where its single track connected with the MEC's Portland to Bangor mainline. Main Central operated the road as its Belfast branch for the next 55 years, but on June 30, 1925, MEC President Morris MacDonald, after repeated public denials, gave the B&ML and the city of Belfast as its majority owner the required six months' notice that it would not renew its by then year-to-year -year lease when it expired on December 31, 1925. The reason eventually given was a net loss to the MEC on the Belfast branch operations of $113,230 for the year 1924. The B&ML took over operation of its road on January 1, 1926. It continued to exchange passengers and mail with the MEC at their jointly owned station at Burnham Junction until 1960 and freight interchange traffic until 2002. In 1882, Main Central leased the European and North American Railway between Bangor and Vanceboro. In 1889, the Canadian Pacific Railway purchased trackage rights from the Main Central on the portion of the former ENNA from Matawamkeag to Vanceboro. This Main Central trackage formed part of the CPR's Montreal St. John Mainline, upon completion of the International Railway of Maine. This line was an important rail route for Canadian war material heading to the port of St. John for shipment overseas to Europe. 
In the months before the United States entered World War I, a German army lieutenant attempted to blow up the railway bridge which crossed the St. Croix River at the international boundary. The lieutenant was arrested by Washington County Sheriff Still Woodman, who later became chairman of Maine's Highway Department. In 1888, the Maine Central leased the Portland and Ogdensburg Railroad, which ran from Portland, through the White Mountains of New Hampshire via Crawford Notch, and into St. Johnsbury, Vermont, where it connected with the Southeastern Railway owned by the Canadian Pacific Railway. Maine Central also operated a line southeast from Bangor along the coast through Machias to Calais, with branches to Bucksport, Bar Harbor and Eastport. Maine Central gained stock control of the Sandy River and Rangeley Lakes Railroad in 1911 and the Bridgeton and Sacco River Railroad in 1912, and operated both as narrow-gauge branch lines. The Maine Central was at its height by 1917 when it became nationalized during World War I under the United States Railroad Administration, having trackage which extended over 1,358 miles It ran from Vanceboro, Calais and Eastport in the east, to Portland in the south, St. Johnsbury, Vermont in the west, and to Lyme Ridge, Quebec in the north. It also operated resorts and coastal steamships and ferries. Topic Chronology 1862 Merger of the Androscoggin and Kennebec and Penobscot and Kennebec created a Portland Gage Main Central Railroad mainline from Danville Junction to Bangor. 1869 Main Central leased the Foxcroft branch. 1870 – Maine Central leased the competing standard gauge Portland and Kennebec Railroad from Portland to Skowhegan as the «Lower Road» mainline and Skowhegan branch, and completed the «Back Road» mainline from Royal Junction to Danville Junction. 1871 – Maine Central leased the Belfast branch, Farmington branch, and Lewiston branch. 1882 – Maine Central leased the European and North American Railway as the Eastern Division mainline from Bangor to Vanceboro, and gained majority stock control of Maine Coastal Steamboat Service. 1883 – Maine Central leased the Bucksport branch, 1884 – Maine Central leased the Bar Harbor branch. 1888 – Maine Central leased the Portland and Ogdensburg Railroad as the Mountain Division from Portland to St. Johnsbury, Vermont. 1890 – Maine Central leased the Quebec Division. 1891 – Maine Central leased the Rockland Branch. 1904 – Maine Central gained majority stock control of the Calais Branch. 1907 – Maine Central leased the Portland and Rumford Falls Railway as the Livermore Falls Branch and Rangeley Branch. 1910 – Maine Central leased the Harmony Branch. 1911 – Maine Central purchased the Kineo House and Kineo Branch, formed the Portland Terminal Company, and gained majority stock control of the Sandy River and Rangeley Lakes Railroad. 1912 – Maine Central gained majority stock control of the Bridgeton and Sacco River Railroad, and purchased the same Jose Hotel in Rockland. Topic. Retraction Following World War I, Maine Central began retracting. It sold or abandoned lines such as the narrow gauge and logging branches, as well as its hotels, ferries and steamships. In the 1930s it began to change its locomotives from steam-powered to diesel-powered. Beginning in 1933, Maine Central entered into a joint management. Agreement with the Boston and Maine Railroad, with which it shared the Portland Terminal Company a switching railroad in Portland. Faced with increased competition from cars, trucks and buses, Maine Central operated its last passenger train on September 5, 1960, and continued to reduce its freight business to reflect changing traffic. Topic Guilford In 1980, the railroad was purchased by U.S. Filter Corporation and was then sold in 1981 to Guilford Transportation Industries, which later purchased the Boston and Main Railroad and thereby the Portland Terminal in 1983 and the Delaware and Hudson Railway in 1984. Initially Guilford operated the system intact, although the system now permitted run-through traffic between Central Maine and Boston. 
By the mid 1980s, Guilford began to rationalize its system and fully one third of Main Central's trackage was eliminated, including the Mountain Division from Portland to St. Johnsbury, Vermont, the Rockland Branch from Brunswick to Rockland, the Calais Branch from Bangor to Calais, and the Lower Road from Augusta to Brunswick. Guilford also forced many management and salary changes, resulting in a major strike against the company in 1986. Guilford Transportation also moved the main central's headquarters from Portland to North Billerica, Massachusetts in the mid-1980s. One of the instigating factors which led to the labor strife at Guilford relates to a corporate reorganization at one of the company's former main central properties. After the Calais branch was abandoned, a small portion of trackage between Calais and Woodland remained in service to a pulp mill. It was joined to the rest of the North American Rail Network through a connection with the Canadian Pacific Railway at St. Stephen, New Brunswick and operated through New Brunswick Territory for several miles between Calais and Woodland. In order to avoid union agreements that the rest of the rail system was forced to follow, Guilford leased this operation to an obscure B&M subsidiary known as Springfield Terminal Railway, because short lines operate under different federal rules. Eventually, the corporate reorganization under Springfield Terminal would extend to the full extent of Guilford operations, and attempting to run a Class I under short line rules would lead to years of union troubles. The former main central locomotive shops in Waterville continue as Guilford's main repair shops. In the early 1990s, Guilford ended its practice of putting the full main central name on the long hoods of MEC locomotives. Instead, the locomotives would wear the Guilford Rail System moniker, with small MEC reporting marks underneath the cab windows. On November 1, 2003, the Morristown and Erie Railway &E took over the former Main Central Lower Road Main Line and Rockland Branch routes aided by significant public funding from the State Department of Transportation. M&E is operating these state-owned lines as the Main Eastern Railroad. Prior to M&E, the Rockland Branch had been operated by Safe Handling, and before that, the Main Coast Railroad. Several railroad preservation and promotion groups are seeking to have the state-owned Calais Branch and Mountain Division routes reactivated for use by short-line or tourist rail operations. <laughs> Panam Railways in the first quarter of 2006, Guilford Transportation Industries officially changed its name to Pan Am Systems, reflecting GTI's purchase of Pan American World Airways in 1998. The rail division of GTI changed its name from Guilford Rail System to Pan Am Railways PAR. PAR began repainting locomotives in the sky blue Pan Am colors shortly thereafter. Passenger operations The MEC passenger trains, often advertised as MC RR in the early 20th century, were essential to the sporting camp movement as early as the 1880s when people from Boston, New York, Philadelphia, and Detroit would make their way north to hunt and fish in the Western Mountains and the Maine North Woods. Among the named trains operated by the MEC prior to ending passenger service in 1960 were the Bar Harbor Express, Down Easter, Flying Yankee, Gull, Katardine, Kennebec, Mountaineer, Penobscot, Pine Tree, and Skipper. The Down Easter name is in use by Amtrak now spelled Down Easter, which operates passenger service between Boston and Brunswick, Maine. Current operations Brunswick Branch Bucksport Branch Kineo Branch Rumford Branch Calais Branch, Woodland Spur Abandoned Mountain Division Rockland Branch Calais Branch Topic Gallery Topic
Topic See also Conway Scenic Railroad